This is part 79 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss areas in MVC. When we create a new ASP.NET MVC application, we get models, views, and controllers folders. And notice that these folders are present within the root directory of the project. Now, this structure of the project is fine for simple applications. But as our applications get bigger and complex, maintaining our models, views, and controllers can get complicated. The structure of such complex ASP.NET MVC applications can be very easily maintained using areas. Let's understand this with an example. Let's assume we are building a job portal site. And it's common for a typical job portal to have the areas that you can see here. It can have employee area. And maybe this functional area allows a job seeker to create the profile, upload resume, and perform job searches. And there could be employer area. And this functional area allows a job provider or an employer to create their profile, upload jobs, and search for suitable candidates. And in a similar fashion, we could have administrator area. And this functional area allows an administrator to configure the site and maintain it. Let's flip to Visual Studio. And let's create these areas. Creating the areas itself is very straightforward. All you need to do is right click on the project name, add area, and then give your area a meaningful name. Let's add employee area. And look at that. The moment I do that, there is a folder called areas created. And within that, we have employee folder. Okay, And within that employee folder, we have a set of models, views, and controllers. Let's add another area. So I can right click on the areas folder, add area, and then add another area. Let's add employer area. And look at that employer folder is added within areas. And I have another set of models, views, and controllers. Similarly, I can add another area, maybe admin area. OK, look at that. There are um, three folders admin, employee, and employer, all present in areas folder. And then each folder has got their own set of models, views, and controllers. And look at that. Within each folder, there is also a file called area registration.cs. You know, in admin folder, it's named as admin area, employee area registration, and employer area registration. Now, if you look at the code inside this file, basically, this is the code to register roots for this area. Look at that. Anybody who wants to uh, invoke URLs within this area, they will use this admin word, forward slash, and then the name of the controller, name of the action method, and any parameters that they want to pass. Similarly, for employee area, you know they use employee, forward slash, and then the name of the controller, action, and parameters. Okay, So we have several, several areas here. And to register all these areas, you know, when the application starts up within global.asax, look at that. We have this application underscore start event handler. So this gets invoked when the application starts. And look at this. We have a method call to register all areas, which is going to register all these areas you know, at the start of the application. All right. Now let's go ahead and add a controller. First of all, let's add a controller, you know, in the root directory in the main area. So let's right click on the controllers, add a controller, and let's call it home controller. So we are adding a home controller to the main area that's present within the root directory. Okay. So notice that we have an index action method there. And similarly, let's go ahead and add a controller to admin area. And let's again call it as home controller. Similarly, let's add a controller to the employee area. And let's call it again home controller. Look at that. Now I can have you know home controller in each folder. And I can ha add home controller to the employer folder as well. OK. Now, Let's go ahead and add respective views as well. So let's go to the home, uh, I mean, the controller, the home controller that is present in the main area, and let's add a view. And let's call it index view. So this should be added to the home folder within the main area. And let's change this HTML there. Let's say h2 main area, let's call it home page. 
so that we know we are on the main area home page and similarly let's go to um, admin area home controller add in index view so that should be added to the home folder within views within admin area and similarly let's do the same thing with the home controller in employee area and let's do the same thing for employer as well okay and let's change the HTML in the respective views so this is employer area home page and similarly let's change the HTML here and let's call this employee area home page and this one is admin area home page okay so let's go ahead and build our solution let's fire up the browser and let's try to navigate to localhost MVC demo look at that I am not specifying I am at the root of my project localhost is the server MVC demo is the name of the project but I haven't specified the name of the controller or the name of the area nothing I'm just at the root of my project which means you know if we don't have areas then this URL is going to invoke by default home controller and then the index action within the home controller that's because within the global.asx file you have a call to register routes method so if you go to definition on that so this is route config.cs which is present in app underscore start folder so that's the file so here we have register routes method look at that if we don't specify the name of the controller and the name of the action method then it's going to use the home controller and index action okay so it should try to navigate to this controller look at what's gonna happen look at that look at the error it says multiple types were found that match the controller name home so if you remember we added home controller you know to all of our areas admin employee employer and there is a home controller in the main area as well so that's what it's saying there are multiple types that were you know named home okay so in all these areas so it's it has a confusion which one to pick okay so now to fix this error all we need to do is look at this register uh, routes dot map route function this function has got several overloaded versions so I am going to use an overloaded version where we can specify the namespace as well look at that there is one overloaded version we can specify namespaces and look at that the namespaces it is expecting the namespaces in the form of a string array okay so we need to specify the namespaces so namespaces that's a named parameter so you have to use the name of the parameter and then we need to pass a string array so you can either say new string and then pass you know the the namespace name as a string or I can simply say new and then pass the namespace name now this home controller in the main area so within this the controllers folder in the main area and that's the home controller and what is the namespace within which this home controller is present MVC demo dot controllers so pick up that and then pass it here okay so let's go ahead and build this now let's refresh this and see what's gonna happen look at that we are on the main area home page now if I give something like this employee now that means we want to go to the employee area so within employee area so this is the employee area folder and within that we have employee area registration dot CS file so this route will be used and notice that here within this register area function we are specifying the action method name the default is index action so if we don't specify an action method name then it's going to invoke index action but then here we are not specifying the controller name as well so if I don't specify the controller name we haven't specified a default for the controller so when I am going to 
visit this we get an error that the source cannot be found and that's understandable because you didn't tell me which controller you want so by default you know it throws that error and to fix that all you need to do is specify the default controller for employee area so what is that going to be that's going to be home let's build our solution Let's put a comma there and build our solution. Let's refresh this view. And now we should be able to navigate to home, I mean index action within the home uh, controller of employee area. But then we get a compilation error. And this is totally unrelated error. And if you do get this error, all you need to do is you need to run this command. Okay. And where do we need to run this command? Open Visual Studio click on tools library package manager and there is something called package manager console and within that console window type that command so basically we are installing a package for that microsoft.web.optimization so press enter so it should install that so it's attempting to resolve dependency Alright, so it successfully installed that. Now let's build our solution and let's refresh this. So we should arrive at the index action of the home controller in employee area. Look at that, so it works as expected. Alright, now let's provide some links. So I want to be able to look at that from the employee area. So at the moment we are in the home controller. and index action of employee area so that's employee area home page now let's say from this I want to go back to the um, home page the main home page so we want to provide a link there so let's go back to employee area and that's the index view so let's provide a link and to provide links we can use action link HTML helper let's actually create a table let's create a table row let's actually set border for the table of one and then let's include a TD here so let's include links for all the areas okay so we have four TDs I mean TRs let's have another TR so here let's say we want a text which says maybe something like links now we want to have a link to the main area so how do we do that HTML dot action and I want to go to the main area home page so I'm going to use action link HTML helper and then the first parameter is the link text so let's say main area home page and then obviously which action method you want to invoke I want to invoke the index action within um, a controller so I'm going to use this overloaded version so within which controller you want to invoke the index action within the home controller okay so now let's do the same thing here so I want to go to employee employee area home page and again within employee area um, within employee area we want to invoke the index action of the home controller okay so let's do that for employer as well and similarly let's do it for admin area okay so let's build this and let's refresh this view so we should get the links so we are currently on the index action of the home controller of employee area now I want to go to main area home page now look at what's gonna happen I am still in employee area home page okay so I didn't go to the main area home page 
since we are in a different area now if you want to go to a different area then you will have to specify the area name as well when we build these action links so from the employee area I want to go to main area and if you look at our structure the main area within our project doesn't have any name okay so we simply specify a blank string as the name of the area okay so this action link Again, this action link HTML helper, it has got several overloaded versions. I'm going to use an overloaded version where we can specify area name as an anonymous type. So new area. So I'm going to give an empty string. So that takes us back to the main area homepage. And similarly, and then there is another parameter that we need to pass now so let's copy and then if I want to go to employee homepage then the name of the area is employee let's copy this entire stuff and then do the same thing for the other links so here the area name is going to be employer and finally we want to go to the admin area so here the name is going to be admin okay so let's take this HTML and put it in other views as well so let's put it in the admin view employer view and the view that's present in the main area all right let's save everything let's build the solution and let's go let's click on this one okay so we should now go to the main area homepage okay look at that now we are on the main area homepage let's try to go to employer area homepage look at that we are now able to navigate between areas all right so in short areas are introduced in ASP.NET MVC2 that allow us to break down a large complex application into several small sections called areas and each area can have its own models views controllers and routes that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day